Hello, everyone. Welcome to Iron Yoga. I'm so glad that you could join me today. So Iron Yoga is a blend of flow style yoga with incorporating some resistance training, usually using uh, dumbbells are what we usually do. Sometimes I'll uh, ask that people use resistance bands, other equipment, but today's class is simple and does not require a lot of equipment. So what you're going to need for today's practice is a yoga mat. So you're going to roll out your mats. And also if you have one medium to heavy dumbbell, that would be great. We're just going to use one holding it in both hands the whole time. Uh, however, whatever you've got at home will be Great. Um, so uh, medium to heavy dumbbell in this case, I would, I would say would be anywhere between maybe five to 10 pounds, but you could always take that down a little bit or up anywhere in there. That range should be fine for most people. So if you're ready, we'll go ahead and get started. We'll roll out your mats, maybe grab some water. If you uh, find music motivating, maybe turn on a little music and let's go ahead and get started. So come on over and you can head over to your space. I'm so glad that you are taking this time for yourself. As I mentioned, we will just be using the one dumbbell today. Um, let's roll out that mat and then let's go ahead and begin standing today. So just spread the toes, step into a comfortable stance, whatever feels right for you. And let's go ahead and release some tension. So perhaps starting, with some nice shoulder rolls, taking the shoulders up towards the ears, back and down a few times. If this is your first exercise program of the day, I just invite you to take a little extra time and notice how the physical body is feeling today. Stand nice and tall. And then if you'd like, you can gently close the eyes for a moment. Just take a few deep breaths. And I just want you to set aside this time now. So as you're breathing, imagine that any worries, your to-do list, whatever you did so far in the day, whatever you have to do later, you're all kind of putting that in a little box and just setting it on the shelf for this next while. You can deal with everything you need to do a little bit later. Take a moment if your eyes are closed to really notice the contact of the feet on the mat, perhaps even moving the toes or spreading the toes. And just take one or two more nice deep breaths. If you'd like, you can audibly sigh out, imagining you're releasing any tension or stress through that exhalation. Breathing in. And then exhale. Relaxing. Let's do two more breaths, just like that. A big inhale in. Exhale, exhale through the mouth. One more time. Nice, big inhale. In through the nose and then exhale. Through the mouth. Good. If you had your eyes closed, you can go ahead and slowly start to open them at this time. And we'll go ahead and begin our practice. I hope you enjoy this nice flow. So stepping nice and wide, we'll go ahead and start today by bringing our arms up to our sides and we're gonna bend the knees and inhale, reach up, really feeling like you're taking up some space here. Inhale, reach up, standing tall, exhale, inhale, reach and down, reach it up high, great all the way up. Let's do about four more of these, reaching high. Reach up. Reach. Now reach. Next time you reach up, I invite you to clasp your hands at the top, flip those palms and stretch it up. Great. Relax those shoulders down and just allow you upper body to lean to one side. Inhale through center, lean to the other side when you're ready. Okay, 
Let's take a moment now, fold the body forward and just reach towards the ground. You can bend your knees here as much as you need to. Very, um, backs of the legs are tight. This is more all about releasing tension. So shake your head out from side to side. Relax your back. Big inhale and exhale. And then from here, slowly vertebrae by vertebrae round through the spine with your head being the last thing to come up. Good. All right, from here, everyone, we're going to flow through some yoga uh, style sun salutations. We'll start off nice and basic and slow and then uh, slowly start to pick up speed. Our goal here and our purpose for this is to help you kind of drop into the body, be more present with your physical body sensations as you start to stretch, but also to get that heart rate up and start to feel a little bit warmer. So when you're ready, you can go ahead and walk towards the top or the front of your mat. So that's usually the part that's closest to me. Walk towards one edge. Stand up nice and tall for me. Feet about hip width apart. And let's begin. Big inhale. Uh, reach up, little gentle back bend here. Exhale, fold the body forward. You can swan dive the hands forward or today for a little variation, I'm taking the hands to the heart. So you can do that if you wish. Plant your hands down on the ground or maybe on the shins and then inhale, look up, a little flat back forward. Exhale, lower. And then I'm gonna invite you to step your right leg and then your left leg back and find a plank position. Spread those fingers wide, come to the top of a push up, inhale. Exhale, lower down slowly onto the belly. If you wanna make this a little less challenging, come down to the knees and then lower. Inhale, back bend. Good, exhale, lower. Tuck your toes, lift your hips, find your downward facing dog pose. And take a moment here to pedal off the feet like I'm demonstrating. So drop one heel down, other heel down. Just do whatever feels good here. Big inhale, exhale, let's step your right foot forward, left foot forward, good. And then let's come up with nice big swan dive arms all the way back up and then we'll repeat. So we'll go with this basic pattern and start to slowly uh, pick up speed. So when you're ready, just join in. So we start, inhale, exhale, back bend, pull the body forward. Inhale, look up halfway. Exhale, lower. Step left foot, then right, and find that plank pose. And lower down when you're ready. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, lower. Find your downward facing dog pose. And once more, you can take a little pause here if you wish to pedal off those feet, and then we just come right back up. Inhale. Exhale, step your left foot forward, right foot forward, all the way up. Good. Then let's begin again, just like this nice basic sun salutation. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, fold. Inhale, look up halfway. Exhale, lower. Right foot, left foot, plank pose. Chaturanga Dandasana, come all the way down. Inhale, back bend. Exhale. Come into your down dog. Inhale. Exhale, step one foot forward, other foot forward. And come on up. Nice straight spine. Back bend. Pull the body. Inhale, look up, exhale, lower. Step left foot back, right foot back, plank position. Lower down, inhale, back bend, exhale. Downward dog, good. Let's go ahead, step one foot forward, other foot forward and come up when you're ready. We'll do this one more time, each direction, each foot that is, with a few variations thrown in, back bend. Inhale, exhale, fold. Inhale, look up halfway. Exhale, lower. Step right leg back. 
Find your plank pose, left leg back. And let's try a side plank here. Left hand in the middle of the mat, pivot around onto the heels, right hand up. And come back to center and let's lower down. We'll do the other side on the other repetition. Back bend and find your downward facing dog pose. Good. And then from here, right leg up towards the sky, three legged dog pose. Wiggle your toes, circle your ankle. And come on down. We'll do the left side here in a moment. Step your right leg forward. Left foot forward. Come all the way up. Good. Stand nice and tall, back bend. And fold. Good. Inhale, look up halfway. Exhale, lower. Step your left leg back. Right leg back, plank pose. Let's try that side plank on the other side. Right hand in the midline and fly. Reach up with your left hand. Good. Inhale. Exhale, come on down. Down to the belly. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, exhale. Left hand, or I'm sorry, left foot up, three legged dog pose. Inhale, exhale down. And step your left foot forward, right foot forward. Big inhale brings you all the way up. Good. Palms together at the heart. And let's do a few stretches while we're standing here. So take a moment, relax your hands down by your sides. Release any tension you may feel in the wrists of the upper body. Let's go ahead and rotate the torso from side to side as we spiral the arms around. Good. Just releasing any tension in that upper body. Great. Let's take those hands up one more time. Take your feet close together. Big inhale, thread the fingers together again and lean over to one side. Flow through center, lean to the other side. Good. Go ahead and let's step our right leg back. We're gonna do just one more little, uh, slightly more upright standing stretch. Modification for all these arms above the head, if this is uncomfortable for you, is hands to hips. So we'll go ahead, little back bend. Exhale, straighten the front leg, fold the body forward to your comfort level, halfway or all the way down. We're gonna do a little leg lift here. I want you to walk the fingertips forward, lift the back, right leg for standing splits. Good. And bring that foot down, straighten the leg. Nicely done. Let's go to the center. So now you'll be facing the side edge of your mat. Go ahead and have your left hand in between your legs and then reach up with your right hand. So a gentle twist here and a wide leg standing forward bend. Let's switch sides, right hand down, left hand up. Remember to breathe, nice smooth, even breath. And fold the body down, hands to hips. Come on up, keep your wide stance here. And for me, I'd like you to turn your left toes out, right toes stay in, bend that front, left knee, and let's come into warrior two. Good, two more stretches on this side and then we'll do this on the other side. Let's take right hand up, left arm down, side angle. Big inhale, come back to warrior two, flip that front palm and reverse warrior. Good. Awesome, let's come on back. Now let's windmill the arms all the way back to a lunge, step it back to plank and let's take that vinyasa again. So we're gonna lower down to the belly slowly. Inhale back then. Exhale downward facing dog pose. Good, paddle out this feet. Awesome. Let's go ahead from here. Let's step or hop forward. Good. And I want you to swan dive up. And let's begin again on the other side. So we're gonna thread the fingers together. And if you remember this from last time, we're gonna lean to one side. Good. Through center, lean to the other side. Back to center. And then from here, step our left leg back. So coming into our warrior one lunge, again, hands at the hips is a great modification here. Let's go ahead and straighten the front leg, fold the body forward. 
Really starting to stretch out your leg. Good, if you'd like to try standing splits here with me, we're going to walk the hands forward, lift the back leg. Good. Drop that foot down. Awesome. And then from here, big inhale brings you up. And we're gonna go to warrior two on the other side. So we're going to step wide on the other side of our mat and I'll show it, of course, from this way. We're gonna turn our right toes out, left toes in, bend that front right knee. Good, and as long as you're facing the side of your mat and you've got a different leg forward, you're good to go. All right, side angle is next. So now you should have your left arm up, right hand rests on that knee. Good. Big inhale brings you up, flip that front palm, and now we go to reverse warrior. Good. Big inhale, exhale. Awesome. Let's go ahead and windmill the arms down and step it back. Find that plank pose. And then we're going to try side plank to the other side. So for the other side, we'll take our right hand in the middle, reach your left hand up towards the sky. Good. Remember to breathe, feel strong. All right. And then lower down. Taking that vinyasa in, held back bend. Exhale, downward dog. Good, pedal off those feet. Let's do three-legged dog pose one more time. Right leg up towards the ceiling. Bend the knee, allow the hip to open towards our ceiling. Great, drop that down and switch. Awesome, drop the foot down. And let's go ahead, drop to the knees. Stretch it back, find your child's pose here. Good, and I just want you to take a minute. I'm gonna go back to my initial orientation there and reach your fingertips over to your right. Inhale, exhale. Hands through center, reach over to the left. Great. And then let's go ahead and slowly come to hands and knees. Before we come up to standing to work with our weight today, let's do cat and cow from our tabletop position. So we'll inhale, arch the back, pull in those abs, and exhale, lower the cow. Try it one more time. Inhale, arch, and exhale, lower. Great, come back to that lovely neutral spine. Good job. Let's go ahead and make our way up to standing. You can get there however you wish. I like to kind of fold the body forward, get a little extra stretch in the back of the legs and the spine. Once you get there, you can feel free if you're thirsty, take a drink of water at any time that is appropriate. And then we're gonna be working with our one weight today. So when you're ready, you can pick up your medium weight and you can face the screen if that feels right for you. We won't be doing a lot of complicated yoga poses with today's weight section. What I invite you to do is we'll be holding, as I mentioned in the beginning, our weights between both hands. If you're working with two weights, you can put them together and hold them. Just do what's right for you. You could also use a kettlebell or something along those lines. So let's go ahead and find our feet about hip width apart, toes facing forward. We're going to have the weight at our chest with our uh, kind of a goblet hold here. So you can hold out here. Sometimes I've seen people with a goblet hold hold like this. It really doesn't matter as long as you have your uh, energy in the arms, you don't let the arms stack down. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna squat down low and then add a press at the top with our weight. So what you're going for if you don't have any knee issues is trying to get down about a 90 degree angle and then reach up. So we won't go at a super fast pace here. We're gonna do 15 repetitions of this squat with an overhead press. So do your best to get low and then press up high. Relax those shoulders. Here we go, let's give it a try. 15. 14, 
13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good. So we're going to be doing 15 reps of each of our exercises, and then we'll repeat for a second set. So be your best judgment if you need to go up or down a weight or not use a weight at all. So the next one we're going to do is a knee chop. So we're going to do 15 on just one side, and we're going to use our right leg. So the weight will be out. Have your elbows slightly bent about chest height. We're going to step our right leg back, and we're going to tap it. So a little chop for 15. So there's a bit of a balance component here. We'll do the second side when we do our second round. However, feel free if that is better for you to do maybe eight on one side and seven on another or whatever seems right. Okay, here we go. Take your right leg back into a lunge. Let's begin. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Let's go ahead and step again with our feet about hip width apart, holding the weight at the chest, bend your knees slightly. Now we're going to go into a twist and a reach to each side. So we'll twist, open, close and center, and then twist, open, close and center for 15 repetitions. Ready? Keep those abs and core engaged as we twist. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Good, all right, let's go ahead now and we're gonna do our uh, across body chop. So we're gonna reach over to the left and then up to the right. So really thinking about twisting at the waist and reaching up. So um, this one is a pretty isolated exercise, so a small reach, but if you're feeling like you wanna get a bit more cardio with it and you have the time and you keep good form, you can come down lower and higher. All right, so here we go, let's do 15. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good, two more exercises. And again, we'll do the other side when we repeat all of these in a moment. Next one is 15 halos. So you can pick a direction. And once again, we're gonna do all 15 to one direction. And then when we go through a second time, the other way. But if it makes more sense to you to alternate, you can do that as well. So one elbow over, other elbow forward. So you go back and forward for 15. Here we go, pick a direction. One two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Nicely done. All right, our last uh, exercise, and then we'll repeat all of these, is a lean from side to side. So we've got a wide side lunge. We're going to bend one knee, reach down towards the ankle with your weight, lift up, straighten both legs, and then switch for 15. Here we go. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good job. That was round one. All right, let's set our weight down for just a minute. We're going to repeat for round two, but let's come down into a plank. We're going to do a little, little interval here. So let's start with some lovely mountain climbers, yoga style, bringing the knee to the chest, alternating for 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Let's go ahead now and we're gonna do one more thing. We're gonna do 15 hip dips here. So knee down and drop your hip to one side, knee down, drop your hip to another for 15. Here we go. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Drop back to the knees, child's pose. Good. Nice job. All right, let's keep it moving. We're gonna do our last round with our weight. So grab water again if you are thirsty. And let's come up to a standing posture. And let's complete our second set. Hands to chest, feet about hip width apart, relax your shoulders down, bend your knees, squat, overhead press for 15. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Weight back to chest. Step your left leg back. We're going to do our knee chop. 15 on the left. Here we go. 15, 14. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good. Waist to chest. Let's go ahead and bend our knees. Now we're going to twist. Open, close, back to sit, back to twist. Here we go. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, and one. Good. Let's do wood or cross body chop, reaching over to the right and up for 15. Here we go. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 
15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good. We're going to do our halo now. So you can decide which direction going maybe the opposite way you went last time. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, and one. Good job. Last one. We're going to do our side lunges, reaching down, reach up for 15, down, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. All right, let's set our weight off to the side one last time. Let's go into plank. Drop the hips down and mountain climbers for 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 20 hip dips. Here we go. 20. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Stretch it back. Good job. Relax and try out pose here for a moment. Relieve the tension on your wrists, wiggle your fingers. Good. We're going to do a few stretches while we're down here, and then it'll be time to wrap things up. You're doing great today. All right. Let's go ahead. Nice big inhale and exhale. Come to your tabletop position. Let's inhale, arch one way. Exhale, lower. Good. One more time. Big inhale, arch. Exhale, lower. Releasing tension. Good. Back to a nice neutral spine here. Let's step our right leg forward into a lunge. This time we're going to keep our left knee down on the mat. I invite you to gently press the hips forward and being patient with where you're at today. We're going to take our hands up to our knee and we're going to do a twist here. So I want you to take your right hand back left forward. So you should be twisting over that front bent knee. Good. Come back to center, straighten the front leg, head to knee. Just really taking a moment to stretch out the backs of the legs, relax your upper body. Let it go. Awesome. Let's go ahead and slowly bend that knee. And we're just gonna switch sides. Step your left leg forward, find your lunge on this side. Take a moment to really press those hips forward. And let's go into our twist. Left hand back, right hand forward. Great, slowly come back to center. 
and straighten the front leg, head to knee. Releasing the back of your leg. Good. Feel your toes, circle the ankle. Nice. All right, from here, let's come back to our tabletop and I'm gonna invite you to sit down on your mat. You can face me if you like, grab a drink of water if that is great for you. Good. And then bring soles of the feet together into our bound angle and fold the body forward. So I just want you at this time to start to notice how the body's feeling. If anything is starting to feel a little different than before our practice today, start to slow the breathing down, focusing on some nice relaxing stretches. Go ahead and slowly start to come up. And then I'm gonna invite you to take your left foot on in towards the middle of the body, so bending the knee and extending your right leg out. Let's flex the foot, pointing the toes up towards the ceiling. Left hand reaches over the nice side body stretch. Inhale, come up. Now you're gonna like this one. We're gonna take that left hand that we just used, place it right behind our left hip, and then press the hips up, come up onto that left knee and reach up with your hand. Think about pressing the hip forward here. And slowly come down. And let's just switch sides. So right foot in, left foot out. Sit up nice and tall, flex that foot and reach over. Take a nice big inhale and exhale and relax. Great. Go ahead and come on up. Place your hand behind the hip and lift up. Reach. Good. Wiggle those fingers. And lower down. Good job. Bring the feet out in front. Flex your toes. Reach up high and touch the toes. Stretching the backs of those legs. Start to let things settle. Notice where this stretches the body. It's not just a calf and hamstring stretch, but a lot of times you get a nice stretch in the low back. Let's go ahead and slowly come up. We're gonna do a wonderful hip and glute stretch now. And this is one that you can do from a seated or a lying down position. Um, we're gonna try seated today. So this will be our seated pigeon. There's a lot of great ways to do this. So I'll show you from the front and the side. So you're gonna bend your knees, have your feet on the mat. You can relax your body back to start, cross your right ankle over your left knee, okay? So if you see this from the side, here we are. From here, the next step is you're just gonna come up right and hug the knees to the chest, which for a lot of people will give you a right glute stretch. So if this still is not a really intense stretch to you, then you're gonna move it into our fire log or half lotus. That's where that left foot that's down on the mat will come over to the right side and you'll stack one leg on top of the other. I'll show from the front. So here we are with our pigeon. Walk that left foot over to the right, set it down on the mat, and then gently rest the other leg on top. So go ahead and find which variation of those poses works best for you, and let's take two slow breaths there. Good. 
good. Nicely done. Go ahead and slowly come up. And let's try all of that to the other side. So both legs out in front, cross your left ankle on your right knee, and then come up right, hug that knee in, getting that stretch on the left hip. Or again, for a slightly more intense variation, set that left knee down, stack the right knee down, left knee on top for fire lug. Take two deep breaths in your posture of choice. <laughs> awesome. All right, friends, at this point, we're going to make our way onto our backs. And I'm going to invite you today to do any last stretch you would like. Something that's calling out your name, do it. Otherwise, we're going to gently close the eyes, relax everything down, and let's take just a few moments in our Shavasana. Breathe in and out. Let everything settle. Take a moment to express gratitude for the time you spent on the mat today. Notice any shifts or changes in the physical body or perhaps your mood since before the practice. And take just maybe two or three breaths here in silence. Just allowing everything to soak in. Next time you're ready, on the next exhale, gently start to move the body, wiggling your fingers or your toes. Give yourself a full body stretch. Remember that if you're extra tired or Shavasana feels more restorative to you, something you need today, you can always hang out longer in this posture. Go ahead and excuse me, make your way back up to a comfortable seat. And let's conclude today's practice by bringing your palms together at the heart. Thank you so much for joining me today. I wish you a peaceful rest of your day. Namaste. Great job today, everyone. I hope you have a wonderful day. See you next time.